I want to share with you guys how your DJI Mavic Mini Return to Home works in all different types of scenarios and how you can optimize it to work for you. Okay, so let's open up a little drawing or picture I have going on here. Now, yep, my artistic skills are not top 10, but uh, it is what it is. So this is you. This is your controller, of course. Um, this is your DJI Mavic Mini and I must take the time to say guys look this video here does not only apply to your DJI Mavic Mini but any modern DJI drone uh, for that matter as well as most modern drones that are not even made by DJI like Autel and other brands they all pretty much function the same way so this video applies to almost all drones on the market today so we have you with your controller uh, we have your drone over here, whichever drone is your drone of choice. Okay, now the first thing is when you go to take off, when you go to go up in the air, if it's a DJI drone, one of the first things you'll hear it say is your home point has been recorded. It means it records exactly where you're taking off from and it counts this ground here that you're standing on or that the drone is sitting on as your zero altitude so this is your zero point and then when you take off and you go up in the air then the altitude starts to rise from zero which is where the drone is resting so you go up you go up you go up here i have a tree that's about 50 feet um, high so one of the first things that I like to do when I go up in the air is go up and have a gauge of and look around in the air kind of like spin the drone in a circle and look at my entire environment around me and kind of gauge how high I'm going to be flying max meaning what's the highest point that I'm going to go to obviously it's below 400 feet so you go up as long as you're below 400 feet and you say okay this is the highest I'm going to fly and then what I do is I go into my settings on the drone and I set my home point to this particular height that my drone is at right now because this is the highest point that I plan to fly. The reason why I do this and why it's very important is because if you lose signal or if you hit the home button, the little home button that's at the top left on your control you press it and hold it down or you hit it the home button on the app on your phone screen either which one what the drone is going to do when it's time to return home is it's going to go up to the altitude that you set in the app and it's going to return home at that altitude which is excellent which is what you want and generally the rule of thumb is the higher you are the safer you are the higher you are the less likely you'll hit anything of course you know maintaining below 400 feet let's say that this tree is about 50 feet high i've marked this tree here about 50 feet and you don't go up this high let's say you stay somewhere around here that's your drone and let's say that you mark your home point um, you mark your return to home altitude sorry at 60 feet that means that the drone will rise up you start flying you're well clear of this tree over here and you decide hmm let me come down and hang around here by the grass area or whatever get some nice low footage whatever happens right and as you start to go down this tree blocks your signal or it's a bunch of trees that block your signal and you lose signal for some uh, reason what the drone is going to do it's going to rise to 60 feet which is here which is well above the 50 feet of the tree and then return back to your takeoff location right and so that's not a problem you're nice and safe however here's where the problem can arise if you set that return home to um, altitude for it to return home at 60 feet and you you decided hey I'm gonna go up you know to about 100 120 feet as you could see this tree is about 100 feet let's say you go up to about 120 there's nothing stopping you from going up right you can go up to pretty high much higher than 120 and you're flying around and you're flying around and you forget that you set your home point to 60 feet and you end up flying behind this tree and coming down for any reason and you're around here which is let's say you're flying your drone here which is about 40 feet somewhere 
and for some reason the trees block your signal and you lose signal well, guess what your drone is going to do it's not going to go up to 100 feet it's going to go up to the 60 feet which is probably somewhere here and it's going to take a straight line back to you the straightest path back to you that's where the drone is going to go and it's going to go straight into the tree and then guess what bam you have yourself an accident you have yourself a problem because you hit the tree and now you're out of a drone or you probably damage your drone so it's very very important i will stress again that when you take off go to the highest altitude that you think you'll be flying and set your return home height to the highest altitude in this case the highest tree around would be about 100 feet i'll set it to about 120 feet so that way i make sure i clear all the trees in the area before I go flying because once you start flying around you might forget what you set your altitude to and then only when you lose signal and the drone tries to return home then you realize uh oh I found myself in a little mess the same thing here with this building if you're gonna fly over buildings and stuff make sure this building here I mapped it out at 200 feet roughly make sure that you go up much higher than 200 feet about 220 230 and then set your home point to that specific height so if you end up behind it for any reason that uh, you don't um, end up crashing your drone now one thing to be aware of buildings is that a lot of buildings have antennas so make sure you're above the antenna as well because you don't want to set your return home height according to the building and then get wiped out by an antenna somewhere sitting on top of the building so be careful of that as well last but not least i should mention that buildings as well as trees affect your drone signal doesn't matter which drone you're flying it affects your signal some drones more than others um, if you're flying a wi-fi drone like the dji mavic mini it will greatly affect it um, in particular buildings that radiate Wi-Fi signals or that other people are using their Wi-Fi as well. So take that into consideration as well as trees also block your path. So you want to have a nice clear trajectory between your radiation of your antenna and wherever your drone is. And when you go behind a building, say you go behind this building over here, doesn't matter how you point your antenna. Um, it's more than likely not going to be able to penetrate this building. So bear that into consideration. The second scenario here is if you're on an elevated area. A lot of people like to hike. They like to climb. They find themselves on top of, of structures or, or mountains or whatever. And you want to fly and get some aerial footage. Now the same thing applies here. I will mark it green. Wherever you take off from, that's your zero point. So your drone does not know that it's on an elevation. It has no idea that there's a drop or elevation behind you. Wherever you set the drone from, that becomes your zero or your zero point, right? From there, the drone goes up, the altitude goes up, but this here elevation remains your zero point. So remember that carefully. So when you take off, it's the same thing here. Look for the tallest structure over here. Let's say this structure here is um, 300 feet. The same thing um, you will want to do. Now this structure might be 300 feet from the ground where the structure is, which is all the way at the bottom, coming all the way to the top might be 300 feet but that is not 300 feet for your drone because the distance from here where your drone is taking off from to up here is not going to be 300 feet right so what i recommend you do is take your drone off right fly up to where you average your higher than the mountain and then set your return home altitude at this point and then what you can do for extra safety as you try flying closer and closer to the mountains, right? Of course, these usually don't have antennas sticking out, but it could have little peaks. As you fly closer and closer and you get close to the mountain and you realize, hey, my drone is here. I can completely clear this mountain if I want, right? At this altitude, whatever the altitude that the drone is reading on your screen between here and here, 
let's just say it's 150 feet because it won't be 300 because you're not on the ground you're higher than the ground let's say the drone says you're at 150 feet up right now set your home point to the 150 feet so again just in case you ever end up mingling around here whether it is that you flew over and behind or sometimes we get carried away and we fly around and you find yourself being caught behind this mountain or structure and your drone happens to lose signal it will rise up to the 150 feet which will clear and it will safely return back home it's as simple as that now uh, one thing to note is that if you do take off your drone and you decide to go down instead of up if you look at your screen you will see that the altitude starts to go in the minus minus 20 feet minus 30 feet as you go down more the drone knows that it's minus so you can also go down with your drone no problem and hang around all here say this is your drone hang around here of course you don't want to hit anything below there hang around there no problem at minus 20 30 50 i've gone down to minus about 150 feet before and then if you lose signal or you hit return home the drone will come to the zero point and then up to the plus 150 which is here it knows here is zero and then it comes up to the 150 and then it will return back to your takeoff point nice and safe and sound i should also mention that some drones do have uh, sensors built in in particular forward facing sensors that will help it to avoid obstacles just in case you forgot to set your return to home altitude and you find yourself in a predicament where the drone is returning at a lower altitude than the building there are some drones out there that will see the obstacle rise above it or move around it in order to avoid a collision um, usually when drones are returning home they usually face forward and fly forward to the destination and so that's a big advantage of having forward facing or front facing sensors which is something you won't find in a beginner drone like the dji mavic mini and uh, might be worth considering when it's time for you to upgrade if you guys have any more questions um, feel free to ask in the comment sections i'll be happy to answer so i hope this brought some clarity to you make sure you hit like thumbs up uh, smash that like button so youtube knows you're an actual person watching an actual video uh, do hit subscribe if you're new to my channel or you haven't subscribed already and uh, feel free to share this video with anyone that you know that could use this information with that being said guys have a blessed day guys stay safe out there we know what's going on right now and i will catch you guys whenever i can Big shout out to Autonomous Drone Services and MadMixTube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible. I'm still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or Zooms. Head over to my Patreon account, donate a dollar, become a patron, and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones. Guys, let's make this happen. Come on, support me and help me support you.